I'm Norm Stockton. Welcome to my home studio here in Orange County, California. I'm here today with the Galleon Cougar 700 RB. It's part of GK's RB series of powerhouse analog bass amplifiers. Extremely high current capacity heads, making them incredibly punchy and ultra responsive. Um, tons of tone shaping, and it has GK's horn biamp system. Very happening. Two rack space unit, 480 watts into a four ohm load, plus it has an extra 50 watts uh, allocated just to the horn with that whole biamp thing we'll talk about in a second. Really cool stuff, built and designed in the USA. Um, let me walk us through the, uh, the panels real quick and just give an overview and then we'll go control by control. And um, I always wanna encourage people to plug in their headphones um, or speakers so you can really hear what's happening with the low end, okay? Starting on the left side of your front panel, you have your DI and your ground lift, pre and post EQs, as well as your uh, level send for the DI, which is super helpful. Uh, input jack, input attenuator, tuning mute, volume, and then you have your voicing filters. Uh, there's a four and five string bass selector, which we'll talk about in a second. Contour presence, GK's awesome sounding four band active EQ. Your boost knob, which uh, dials in some of the GK growl. Tweeter and woofer levels independent, and that's again when you're in biant mode, we'll talk about that in a second, as well as your high cut for both the tweeter and the woofer. Then you have your patch base, so you have your uh, effects center return and your tuner out. Power protect LED, which we'll talk about in a second, very helpful um, indicator, and then your power button. And then on the rear panel, you've got your quarter inch speaker outputs as well as your speak on outputs, and those speak ons are what you'll use when you're doing the biamp thing. We'll talk about that in a second. So starting with the DI, uh, a lot of amplifiers have built-in DIs that don't sound very good, and most sound engineers are like, yeah, why don't you go ahead and use mine, you know? The ones that are built into the GK heads all sound great. They're quiet and uh, very, very workable. And as you can tell, I'm, I'm recording directly out of it uh, for this recording here. Um, you have your ground lift, which is obviously helpful, um, pre and post EQ, and that's again something that you'll use typically if you're doing some sort of radical EQ on stage, um, because of the acoustics of the room or whatever, um, to make it sound right for you there, but you wanna send a flat signal that'll give the front of house person an unaffected signal to work with, so you can select between the two. Um, you have your level, independent level control, which is great, you know, hey, can I get a little bit more bass send out of you, or a little less, you know, there you go. And then you have your input jack, uh, your 14 dB attenuator, and that's something where if you have an active bass or you're doing some sort of bombastic playing and the yellow clip indicator light is turning on, then this will allow you to uh, just bring the whole thing down. And uh, with this bass tends to be kind of high output and I'm doing some slapping, so I've got it activated. But if you're doing, um, you know, finger style on an, on an old P bass with a passive EQ or passive electronics, then it's not an issue. Then you have your tuning mute. And I love the fact that it has that big red LED. <laughs> it's an idiot proof situation. And that works in conjunction with that tuning uh, jack right there, okay? Then you have your master volume, which sets the preamp gain. Then you have your voicing filter section here. What's really cool is that tone tends to be something that it's subjective, but it also is, is a matter of what works best for the music you're doing. And so GK heads are super versatile in that regard. In the voicing filter section here, you have the four and five string bass selector, and that essentially affects things down around 20 hertz. So it's down there in the subs. And I personally tend to usually run it in four string mode, but if you wanted to, you, you can kind of listen to see what happens here. Four string mode. Hear how it kind of beefs up the bottom a little bit. Okay, so you can kind of mess with that. Um, I tend to leave it disengaged. And the contour knob is something that's common to GK amps. And it's all the way off at this point. And the further clockwise you turn it, it basically introduces a bit of a smiley face EQ. So at 500 hertz, it starts dropping and then it starts bumping the lows and the highs. So. So it kind of scoops it out, right? So I'm gonna leave it off for right now because I, I wanna set the amp flat and really let you hear what's going on here. Presence is um, up around 10K, so it gives it that sparkle. Gives it that kind of bright thing on top, right? Okay. So depending on the type of playing you're doing, you know, if you're doing something um, where you've got some high end happening, you can kind of really bring that sparkle out. Um, 
going to leave that off for right now. Then you have GK's great sounding four band active EQ. Really kind of brings it out, right? I'm going to leave it flat for right now. High mids. I tend to leave mine flat, or when I'm doing some of the more of the fusion type playing, a, a lot of times I'll set it to right about nine o'clock. But again, personal preference. Low mids. You can really beef it out or you can uh, thin it out. And with your lows, uh, I always try to be careful with this because I don't want to distort my recording right now. But if you want to dump all your lows, you know, do your Stu Ham uh, banjo bass thing. <laughs> but in most applications, pretty cool. So then you have your boost control, and that's GK's sort of signature growl factor, you know? Now it does kind of affect the level a little bit. Even though it's a little quieter, it's also more polite, you know? The tone definitely gets a little bit more uh, Very musical stuff. <clears throat> I tend to run mine at about 12 o'clock. Now, with your uh, biamp controls, what ends up happening is that that sort of uh, bit of dirt that the boost control uh, provides doesn't typically sound as good coming through a tweeter or a horn as it does through a woofer. The 700RB has a built-in crossover at 5K, so it only sends stuff at 5K or higher to the tweeter, and you can independently control the level of that. And then, in addition, this high cut allows you to dump anything at 10K or higher. So sometimes if you're getting hiss or whatever, you can attenuate that. And then you've got your main level, the woofer. So you can control the ratio between these two. And in addition, you have a uh, high cut for the woofer so that anything above 5K isn't going to the woofer. It really allows some great tone shaping and tone sculpting. This is an incredibly versatile amplifier. In addition, you've got your effects center returns if you wanna use an outboard effect. Then you've got your tuning mute, which again works with that control there. So you can leave a tuner plugged in and uh, do this tune up between songs and it's not going through the house, okay? And then you have your uh, power protect LED, which when you first fire up the amp um, for about five seconds, it's red and then it turns blue and that means that you're good to go. Um, this amp has a great fan that definitely keeps it cool. You don't have overheating situations very often at all with this. But if you have a, a venue or something with dirty power or some other issue, then that'll turn red and you'll know something's up. Okay, power button there. And on the rear panel, you've got your quarter inch speaker outputs as well as your speak on outputs. And the speak ons allow the use of the proprietary GK speak on cables that allow for the bi amp. So you don't wanna just pick any old speak on cables that are laying around the venue for the PA system, for instance, because these are wired specifically so that with one cable, you can route signal independently to the horn and the woofer, okay? Features, tone for days, massive punch, and absolutely built for the road. Uh, these amps are awesome. And I always encourage people not to just take my word for it, even though I'm giving you the straight scoop. Go to your GK dealer and check it out for yourself. I think you'll agree these amps are happening. Um, you can also go to galleon.com for further information. But this is the Galleon Cougar 700RB. I hope you check it out. God bless you. I'm Norm Stockton. I hope to see you on the road.